All right, you ready? So What'd you have for breakfast? Uh, coffee, oranges, and um, I had a fruit cup. Oh, did you? Yeah. I anyway, had a strawberry and, and cheese pastry was freaking horrible. I always worry about that. It's like, is it going to be worth it? Is the pastry going to be worth it? I'm from Miami, so it's like, I, I know what a good pastry is when I, when I have one. That's yeah, that's true. Horrible, so anyway, that's how I get sidetracked on podcasts. I ask a stupid question. We're still talking about cigars. <laughs> Every, yeah. yeah. I, Instagram account? Yeah. I have an Instagram account. Yeah. He's going to start running it. It's just Jimbo Balaam. Jimbo Balaam? Yep. Um, it was funny. I was talking to Julio, and I'm like, I think so many guys smoke cigars that that whole room smells like cigars now. I got so addicting. It's like, <laughs> I'm like, I smoke one. It's like, I try to keep it on one. I'm like, okay, the crowd is good. Let me have number right. two, right? So it's like, I have number two. I'm like, okay, no. Nah, Ten later, your throat feels feel like asphalt. asphalt. Speaking yeah. of last names. Yeah. This is B-A-L-A-A-M. Yep. 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 All right. So we're recording this podcast episode live from Mobile Tech. We have a studio audience of three people. Feel free to chime in whenever, if you choose to. <laughs> so we have Will Rara. Did I get it? <laughs> Dang it! I added a D in there. Huh? Lara. 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 Adriana. Adriana. But my tongue doesn't do that because I'm white. You definitely need to visit Miami. Yeah, I definitely right? need to visit Miami. Yeah. We'll get you there. Co- I've been to Panama. That's uh, not, not the same. Not the same. Or if you go to Tampa, you start talking Puerto Rican. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love my Puerto Rican. Anyway, we have Will. How about that? Yeah. Will yeah. Lara. Yeah. For Will white people. from Miami. Will like from Miami. Miami. Yeah. And really, yeah, that's, the that's the what I want to talk about, and I know you're heading out, so I don't want to take up too much that's of your time. Right. But um, I want to talk about the tattoo that you have on your arm. Oh. Uh, because actually, a lot of guys, yes. um, a lot of guys that listen to the podcast, obviously, are interested in growing their business and. Uh, interested so in doing that and and furthering their education especially guys that come here and stuff you know as they further their education they come across guys like Gary V or Grant Cardo Grant Cardo right so Tony Robbins all those gurus right yeah so as we were having a cigar last night talking as I made my way to my room at 10 o'clock but somehow didn't make it to my room till (laughs) 2 it got brought up that you actually uh, well I don't want to tell the story. You tell the story, and then we'll we'll tie it into um, your tattoo. It's funny. I've worked in retail for like 14 years. I've always wanted to do my own business, right? So I always what kind of retail. Um, retail loss prevention. So you know, I was dealing with. You were a security guard. Nobody knew I was. Okay. Oh. You know, nobody knew. Undercover I was. security. Guard. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Top flight. You know. <laughs> um, so and I've always I've always wanted to do the business, but right. I always procrastinated, mm-hmm. and okay, I see guys charging twenty five, thirty dollars. I've always been good with numbers, right? So I'm like, okay, there's there's no freaking way you can make money like that, right? So long story short, you know, my last retailer, I worked there. Um, I had a boss that wasn't I wasn't really feeling, so right. I started pressure cleaning and detailing part time. Okay. How long ago and, was this? Uh, believe it or not, like two and a half years ago. Okay, awesome. Two and a half years ago. And uh, somehow I run into Grant Cardone on social media. Yeah, because you're, like I just said, trying to expand, learn, get information. Or Actually, when I was did, it random? Oh, freaking random. Okay. It really was. I'm like, okay, who's, who's right. this guy? Like, who's, like right. you know what I mean? And if you don't know Grant Cardone, he's very, or never seen him, he's very in your face. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 that motherfucker will be in your face, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, so I, I started reading, you know, I ran into his book, The 10X Rule. And I'm a person I've always been is either you're gonna do something, be committed about it, or not right. do it at all. Right. It's like, you know, the saying go big or go home. Right. That's the only way to do it. So I read his book and I'm like, oh shit, like I almost turned in my keypad and my keys, my and I'm like, okay, I quit. Like that's how like it, it got to right. me because the book showed me it, you know, it's very realistic. You know, you, right. you gotta be committed with not just your business, but yourself and your goals. Because if not, what's the point of you? You know right, what I mean? Right. Do, doing anything, period. Right. Why are you gonna, Gary Vee says, why are you going to be half pregnant? Like, yeah, you know? it's, it's like, okay, look, if you want to work at Burger King, that's all right. I mean. Just right. make sure you're the best damn burger flipper there is. Yep. You know? 100%. So then, you know, I read it, I listened to this book a few times, and then I made it a goal. I was like, okay, I have to make him one of my clients. I know he's in Miami. Because okay, it just happened to be that you lived in Miami, and he yes. lives in Miami. Yes, yes, yes. So I was like, okay, I, I, I have to make him my client. Right. 
spent months, right. months, and almost a year and a half. Because for people that don't know Grant Cardone, he's kind of popular. Yeah, yeah Grant you can't, Cardone. You can't just call him up and say, hey man, I want to do your car. I don't even have his number, I don't do his car. Right. Right? <laughs> so it's like, I have to call it Katie, his assistant, like hey, Katie, you know what you're doing today, whatever. Right. But you know, the thing was is, he motivated me so much, just from a mental and spiritual standpoint, yeah. it's like, okay, you gotta be committed, you gotta be focused, right. regardless of your goal. Right. Greg Cardone is very, very big in real estate and, and automotive sales. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, sure, like, I need to, I need to get closer to this right. guy. Right, right. Then I listened to the, I listened to the, um, what was it, Sell Be Sold, I listened to the Millionaire Booklet, I listened to the Every Night First Your Last, yep. and I was like, oh dude, yeah, it's the real estate, it sells, it's automotive, mm -hmm. but it's really for any, in all right. industries. The principles are the same. The principles are dead freaking right. on. It's yep. like, oh my God. The applications are just a little different. Yes, like right. I was listening to the 10X Pro on my, on my audio, my Mac, and I was at a gas station. Sorry, me. He's talking about one of the chapters. He starts off like, "Well, what I really wanted to name this chapter was don't be a little bitch.' But oh yeah, I went ahead and go ahead and said it, right? <laughs> so, and that's the benefit to audiobooks, right? Is that you can go off script. And no, he speaks. <laughs> he speaks it himself. Right. Not like everybody right. Is hired, you know, right. Right. Yeah, he's actually doing it. Yeah, he's actually right. freaking doing it. And dude, like that moment, I was like, okay, dude, I'm not making money. I'm at a gas right. station. I started just talking around the people, passing out business cards. Right. And I'm getting clients. They're like, oh shit. Like, okay. Dude. So like one thing, let's let him yeah. know. You know. You start implementing the things that he was teaching you through his oh, book. Oh, hundred percent. Right. A hundred percent. Right. And then, so how do you get them? Because here's what we talked about this last night. And this is sometimes the hard part of like having a super good conversation and then trying to like have another conversation about the same thing and record it um, is that we forget what, what we okay, talked about. Right. But, but, so, I, but so I spent, I, I basically spent a year and a half yeah. plus. Yeah. Be honest with you, maybe like two years. Yeah. Just messaging him. Yeah. Messaging him. Yep. How? No. Social media. Social media. Okay. Because that's, that's where I like, I knew him. 100%. Like, yeah. And he's like, oh, this motherfucker's not messaging me. He's right. like reading my messages. Right. Because he and only has probably 3 million followers or something, right? No, not even. He, he has like, I, I started following him when he had like 200,000. Okay. And now he has like a little over like half a million. Okay. But it's like, he's not messaging. So eventually he started reading my messages. You know, he could tell me uh, something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I used to send him some weird messages. I used to be like, Grant, listen, I am the best damn detailer you will ever find in Miami. And that's because of what your books have done. You need to get me to clean your car because now your car will always be dirty. Right. I used to send him stuff like that all the time. <laughs> right? <laughs> which, which would be what, and this is what we talked about last night and what I really wanted to focus on too is like, you read his books, used his tactics to get him as a client. Like, yes, yeah, that, that to so, me so, is so like yeah. the coolest that's thing ever, right? That, oh, I, yeah. get, I get goosebumps. Yeah. I'm thinking about it, right? right. So, so it's like, okay. And it worked. And so, no, it, it, he, he, it started from him reading my messages. Right. Okay, I know I'm getting And close. that's just you being persistent. persistent. Oh, dude, a hundred, a right. hundred, a hundred percent. Exactly I wasn't what messaging teach. him every day. Like, I'm going to let right. the guy breathe. Right, right, right. But every time I post something I like, I'll oh, send him a message right. or whatever. And I, I got there and I was like, okay, I got to that point. I started doing some very nice, you know, exotic cars. And, and I started tagging him on the pictures. And I got from him reading my messages and liking my pictures. Really? So I was like, okay, you are going somewhere. Right. We're going somewhere. Right. It's so like, I know I'm getting there, right? And he didn't get pissed off that he wasn't responding. Some guys would get like all weird about, I mean, you do and you don't, but you, it seems like you picked out like the little things that like the little bit of motivation that just <laughs> yeah, let you keep but, going. But the thing is, is if you're committed, it's going back to being committed. Right. If you're committed to something. You knew you wanted him as a client. You know, you, you it was know you're, you're going to, it's done deal. Unless he oh, just dies right. tomorrow, God forbid. Like, right. you know what I mean? Right. So right. right. I, I was, I was committed. It's like, right. it's done life. Yep. If you're gonna go do something, be committed. So right. Don't give up halfway. 100%. Like he has millions of people messaging him right. every other day. Right. right. So it's like just the fact that he okay, he at least opened it. I feel like okay, I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. Yeah. I'm there. Right? Might as well. I, I got it. So, so, I would have thought like I'm in. I know. Oh yeah. Oh, dude. I, I was. I was <laughs> like, I'm once, there. I might once he started liking my pictures, right. it's funny because yeah, it's over. I, I didn't see it at the moment because you know people were like you know 100 plus 100 plus right. likes or whatever. All right. One of my friends messaged me. He's like, "Oh man, Uncle Jesus liked your picture so cool." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> like, wait, I'm what? like, "Hold on." So I run through my pictures. I'm like, "Oh shit, where's my like, right. I didn't, you know. So it, it got to that, and then he ended up having a million dollar giveaway, right? Where he was giving money for 
videos, wh whatever, you know? Yeah. Anything that's created to build his brand, obviously. Um, and then, again, going back to the books, like, so he sold, yeah. using his tactics. Yeah. And I told him, look, like, I'm, I'm freaking committed. I told my wife, hey, I want to get the 10X girl logo with be obsessed or be average initials and she thought okay you know how that that conversation just didn't end up going very well right she's like i was gonna say when you say it like that i know what you mean when you talk about like when you commit oh, to God. something go all in because my wife's still learning that like sometimes there's no convincing me right it's over no like, yeah no but i'm getting there i'm yeah, getting there hard. with my wife also right so yeah, right. it's like you know it's, it's hard a, it's a process yeah right yeah so, yeah. so then she's like you may want to get that and I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, like, I'm, I'm fucking, like, I'm all into right. this. I didn't start this soon. Right. Started finding a part-time job at Best Buy. Right, right. You know, I like Best Buy, but you know what I mean? Other right. than the fact. So I, I, I went, he had the million dollar giveaway. Um, I went to my tattoo artist and I did it. I need this, so I got the 10X rule. It has the initials, be obsessed or be average. But I feel like now I have to put like the E and then like the words, because it says Boba. Boba in Spanish is like, you're dumb. <laughs> right? Whoops. So, so my wife is like, oh, Boba. Boba. So, so she kind of won. So now, now I'm going to go back and get a little creative. Just so like, yeah. okay, like, come on, read it. Right, right, right. right. So I posted it. And he tweets out, hey, $500 winner. I'm like, so at that point, just, just like maybe like two weeks before that. How long is this process from like, because. Reading his books too. Or, or the the time you started messaging him to the time that you actually started to get some response from him. Two years. Two years. Wow. Like two wow. Years. Okay. A year and a half to two years. God. Wow. Fair to say. Okay. So then you know, I, 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 like going back a little bit, like two weeks before that, um, he find I sent him a message because one of my friends you know tells me, oh Greg Cardone just posted his DM and you're like the first one there. I'm like, oh shit, cool. Let me get on my phone. Right. Right. Like, let me attack it. Right. So I sent him almost the same message. Listen, I'm the best detailer in this damn like you know. He's, right, right. I sold him on it, and he's like, okay, email my or no, call my assistant. So I called, and you know that was there. That was you know Lembo. He sent me pricing, sent me this, sent me that. Hey, Buffin Shine. <laughs> <laughs> we got you in the background, Julio. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so so you know we were kind of like I was sending him pricing or whatever, and I listen. I appreciate what your books have done for me, and and you know what's just that in general has done to my life. Right. I want to give you the first detail for free. That's smart. Right. Yeah. Like we spoke about you yes. know, giving out free car washes. Hey, yeah. You give out free. I am 100 percent about giving free car washes as long as it brings 100 percent value right. to my business. Right. 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 And like we talked about last night, and since we weren't recording last night, we're not talking about just. Picking Joe Schmo, anyone no, off the street, and, 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 and give, exactly, like really hard. I mean, for me, it's like so. really hard to do that. But I mean, it has to be like somebody. No, like, but, it, but it's an example. Yeah. Like, like, no, no, but I mean, if you're talking about a customer like this guy, right? Who you know that it's, I'm a, or, right. or at least you hope, it's going to turn into something big. No, but but, but that's, I mean, that's when you don't do it. But if you have a wealthy, well playing client that pays anywhere from fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a year, and you know his maid has a dirty old car. Right. And, and doesn't have the money to maintain that. Well, that's, that's, yeah. You know what's going on? It, it no, it's hard, but it that, that's, and that's exactly why I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you chimed in. Because, and I'm glad you're here too. And I'm glad I'm here. But, uh, <laughs> no, but that's because you have a good point and it's good to have this conversation of like, you do the free work because you know that it's act, you're going to actually make way more money from doing it. So it's not really. Oh, the client it, loved it. it. He's like, oh my God, that's so nice. You didn't have to. You know, the, the maid comes out and tries to give me like, tell me, give me some coffee. And it's not right. every time. <laughs> it's not, or maybe it is every time because no, maybe. Not every it, time, but you know when to do it. You know when and the you're time not doing a full detail, it's just a little cleaner. No, it's like with Grand Cardone, like, you know, there's something very basic, right? Right. But it's like a $250, you know, right, 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 quote unquote, right? Right, right. right. So then I got the tattoo, I posted it, and he retweeted Wait, it. hold on. Did you pitch him on like a. Because I feel like some people would do this. Go in for a correction in coding? No, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Okay, I don't. So I just wanted to get him in the door. Yeah, right? got it. I'll concentrate on that. Okay. No, they. But right. if you if you know Grant Cardone, he doesn't buy. He leases. Right. 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 So then I, I he retweeted the picture. He's like, you know, badass winner, five hundred dollars. Like, oh shit, I've just won five hundred dollars. I, I, didn't do don't it. Even need I, did, I, I didn't do it with the with the intentions of, right. of you know right. getting you know. Yeah. Right. So 
It's just, and then I went to his car. Um, I've done it about twice already. Met his wife, his staff, and everything. Yep. So I was able, I was able to do that. King you know? Smith is here. Yes. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, man, it was really, it was really our persistence, right? You know, mm -hmm. and getting. Just not giving up. You right. know? I, I knew what his books had done for me. I wanted to give back. And a few weeks, maybe like like two weeks after, he has his growth con. Right? Different motivational speakers from right. different industries and whatnot. In Vegas is this year. So he had a special of it's called the Ambassador Program. You get access to his online university uh, until until the event. And you get a ticket to the event. It was a thousand dollars or whatever. Right, right. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get him here, right? So I, uh, so I sent him a message. The first one didn't answer. So I, mer I messaged Jerry, his, his right hand guy. Right. And then he's like, okay, but you could give a down payment and you could, you know. I'm like, look, I really don't have the money right now to give, you know, again, going back to his tactic, right? right. So I don't have the money right now. How about, you know, and then I sent the same message to both, right? Mm -hmm. Actually. But Grant Cardone got back to me before, you know. And, so I told Jared, no, I'm sorry, I got it right here. You know, like, so, so it's Don't worry, what about you, Jared? No, I'll do it. His, 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 if you, you know, it, it's funny, going back, look, when I did his car the first time, uh -huh. I told his sister, look, I just want to meet him, take a picture. Right. You know, the atmosphere there is phenomenal. Right. Everybody's happy. Everybody's is, is definitely 10 fucking X. You right. know what I mean? Yep. You know, and, and going to a 10 X for those that don't understand is, if you have a goal, what's the point of not sending it 10 times higher? So, so, good, Chris. so if you have a, if you have a goal of making a hundred thousand dollars, right? Why not make it a million? So, what would you rather fall short on? Right, right. You know what I mean? Right. So then I met him. Oh, it was freaking awesome. So yeah, I, I sent him. I sent him a message. short at two fifty. I sent, I sent him a message like, listen, I don't have a thousand dollars. How about I give you a thousand dollars worth of detailing credit, and you know, I, uh, I'll give you like, let's say like, I think it was like two or three gift cards. Right, right. No hesitation. Uh, no, actually, there was hesitation. I'll take that back. He took like a day. I I, re I message him again. I, like, I want to follow up with you. Think. I mean, he's looking at doing multi-million dollar deals. So on the on the scale of importance, just being honest, it's, for, it's not important. We're not. No, important. no. It's, 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 <laughs> like just being real. You know what no, I mean? So so I'm for, not fucking important. For him to even, <laughs> to for him to even get back to you within a day, I think is extremely important. Oh, yeah. yeah, right. You know so what I mean? So he's like, okay. Email my assistant. So I emailed over a contract and email, blah, blah. He gave me a second to his growth plan online university. Just like that. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty exciting. Can't wait to go. <laughs> and that's what? Two weeks or something? Actually, uh, uh, end of uh, February. February. Yeah, yeah. yeah a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Yeah, like three weeks. So, so I think this is an obvious Do you have any follow up questions with free work or doing anything? I feel like. We could expand upon that a little bit, or no? I'm still hesitant. Okay. I mean, because I've, I've listened to what you guys have said yep. about doing free work. Yep. And I'm, I got, I get to the point where like, okay, I'm going to do this. Right. I'm, you know, I'm going to yeah, go yeah. out and talk to people, and they're yeah. like, dude, I need the money. Yeah. <laughs> There's that. But but, but you I have mean, to, you have to have your business structured enough where you could do that. And it's at the not beginning, I wasn't giving up that. Are you crazy? Like, right. I'm not giving yeah. free watch or detail or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got to a point in time where it's like, I know when and who to do it with. Right. That's the thing. That's the thing. Right. Because, I mean, you're talking, I, I don't know this guy, but yeah. you just said he's like the, the Tony Robbins or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sells, yeah. Fuck yeah. It, I mean, 10 yeah. eggs. <laughs> so, so right. it's, uh, Make sure he sees that when he does it. <laughs> Great. But, uh, <laughs> but, I mean, if, 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 uh, if it's somebody... It's like you know, like right, right up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know that that's going to trickle down. Mm -hmm. It's going to get you into a lot of doors, into right. a lot of places. Right. I mean, well, then, for, first of all, going go, go back, to he has a saying: If you want to make money, be around money. Right. Yeah. So if you if you want to be around wealthy, rich people, of course. Right. Yeah. Don't go. It's, it's don't go to Chili's. It's <laughs> don't go to Chili's. You want to go to like to like to Prime One Twelve or the Forge on South Beach, where you're spending a hundred and fifty dollars a person. <laughs> Right. Why? Because if those individuals have that money, of course. I mean, it's, it's like Joe. What Joe says. I mean, <laughs> you know. That's not. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. But you know, it's it's just you know, fine car guys yeah. with money. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what you need. And that's what we need. You know, but, but believe it or not, I have clients that like, yeah, they have little money, nothing crazy. They're not super rich or anything. 
you know, they'll have a lady show up and clean their house or help them out with the kids or whatever. Oh, uh, dude, like it. If I hook them up all the time. Think about it. Those are the ones that could get you in or get you out. Exactly. Right? Yeah, they're the so gatekeepers. A maid, a maid can either make your they're life the miserable. Right. Oh, dude, I have clients that just leave me their house keys or their man's on the Yeah. They all throw a party. And that's that's yeah. kind of the, the overarching theme of the whole free work idea is that you're doing it for the gatekeeper yeah. so that it gives you access to somewhere else. So you have to be like extra nice to them. Yeah, so it, le it, it leads with free yeah, work, but it's really not about free work. free work yeah you know what i mean so yeah i mean and and i think what you're trying point, to say is you gotta yeah, find the right situation exactly because you just don't want to do it yeah you just don't want to do it all the time for anyone because you're running a charity it's like look i tell people all the time uh, I, I don't want there to be any mistake i'm yeah. not running a charity like i'm doing this to make money like even the whole point behind the podcast was i love meeting you guys but I got bills. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, yeah, you know, yeah. so so you don't you don't, and that's just me being honest. But the same it's with yeah, running the detailing business. I don't run out and do free work just because <laughs> someone asked me to do free work. Okay. You know, but it's like if you, I had a if, family member that told me because I started the business doing parking for you. Hey, can you do my roof? No, I don't even do family anymore. No, no, no. And she's like, uh, I, I told her I'll give you hundred dollars, but it has to be a day that I have to do parking yeah. for you work or whatever. She's yeah. like, oh, keep doing it like, now. Yeah, because they complain. <laughs> and and what I do with family is I say, look. I'll give you the product and I'll even teach you how to do it. You got to do it, right? Because it gets awkward, family, ugh. It's just, you know, but 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 the, the point is, it's like, you know, it, if there's office buildings that you want to target or whatever, and it may be different in Costa Rica than freaking Orange County, California, right? So, um, but if, for, for that example, just to make it easy, if the receptionist is the gatekeeper to the CEO, the receptionist doesn't have money. They're they're working minimum wage. They're you know it's it's a low uh, low entry level job. Yeah. Maybe, probably. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Maybe not. But if you so she's not going to have thirty bucks to spend on a car wash. Right. But she's the gatekeeper. So if you can if you can do her car for free and it's going to open up the door and get you direct access to the CEO, that that's, would make sense. That's what Jason did. Jason Rose when he started. Yep. He, was, he wanted yeah. to do Barry's car. Exactly. So he exactly <laughs> he did just what Will did. I want to exactly. detail. I want to detail Same Barry's idea. car. Exactly. Like, were you? So so I think you have to be careful because I think you know we could just have that free work as an open-ended thing of like just do free work oh, yeah. for everyone. Talk to this guy. He does free work. Yeah, exactly. And that's what you don't want. But if you if you're strategic you, you, you about it, you have to know. You have to know what brings value to your business. Right. If you feel like and it feels good, you know, to help somebody else that can't sure. really do that. Yeah. It's like, dude, really like, it's, it's not a problem for me. Like, right. it, it yeah, makes me money. You know, right. You're not going to install a year coding or you know, do a client. Exactly <laughs> that too. And, and, and even, don't get, even if you do it like like regular, you know, just like wash and wax and hundred percent. And it's do a wash and a spray wax with the vacuum, yeah. and that person freaking tires shine. <laughs> yeah, they're that gonna person's going to be stuck. They're going to be ecstatic. Ecstatic for me. Ecstatic. Like, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Any last words you want to you want to say to, uh, or to encourage people? Is there any quote that Beepers. that Uncle G has given you that I, it, obviously yes. this yes. this podcast has been very motivating and obviously we're going to SEO the crap out of it and get um, Uncle G to, to post it. But is there anything that you want to? We have a perfect example right here. Perfect. Encouragement, anyone? If, and, imagine and guys want, like and, this. And but I don't want nobody to take it personal, but the, the main quote that gets me to where like okay this is where yeah don't be a little bitch okay like be persistent yeah pursue your dreams if, if yeah. you, you know you should put that on a shirt what, his book yeah. no she get that tattooed right here, here <laughs> oh he already has it he already has it i can't copy him but it's all right i'll get close to it but it is it, you know just for what his books have done for me and my business has yeah. opened up the doors to a whole new level it's like last year i went to you know to mobile i came to mobile tech and you know i met ranny doyle and I had a cigar with him, of course, right? Yeah. I just one? Had, just no, one? No, no, yeah, it was one, it was one. I was just Sunday. I was about to leave, right? <laughs> so, so I was like, okay. So, you know, I sat down with my fitness trainer or whatever, but it's just the fact that I, I, I was able to network with so many people, yeah. open so many doors, right. and I come this year, yeah. you know, they did an article, with, you know, on you know, Mobile Tech News. Mm -hmm. um, it's on there. My pictures are on a few displays here, like, on I was like, oh, dude, this is so badass. Yeah. yeah. But again, it's like, don't be a little bitch. Just pursue your fucking dreams, you know? Like, sorry if I curse too much, you know? No, I feel like I'm the Andy Priscilla from the I'd rather have this yeah. is my big black. What's going on? We're gonna do Jimbo and Big. Right? Yeah. What do you think? Jimbo and Big. So so the thing is so the thing is is, is you know you're be persistent and you right. don't. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. Like pursue your dreams, yep. and market and get yourself out there. Yep. How can people 
Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, I want to retire and become a professional photo bomber. Like, you know, <laughs> hashtag photo bomber. <laughs> How can people follow you, find you? Um, social media, Miami Lux Detailing on Instagram, Facebook, and MD Lux Detailing on Twitter. Nice. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions for Will or anyone? Yes, on the <laughs> It's not even worth my breath. <laughs>